This is called the e drink, and um, I basically. The e drink. The e drink. The electronic drink. Wow, you guessed it. Okay, wow. Uh, <laughs> a, a little condescending there. Uh. <laughs> Anne Makasinski's inventions have been getting a lot of attention. She's appeared on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, and now she's uh, made it onto Forbes' prestigious 30 Under 30 list and joins us now from Vancouver. And congratulations. Thank you so much. It was a big surprise. A surprise. Okay. Uh, what was your reaction when you found out about being on that list? Um, well, they emailed me a while back saying I was nominated, but that didn't mean I would actually get it. So this morning I woke up to some con congratulation texts from some of my friends. So I was like, oh, like, that's amazing. So um, it's been a little goal of mine for a while. So it was great to finally get there. You have so many goals, clearly. You invented the e-drink and the hollow flashlight. Tell us about both of those. Um, so the hollow flashlight is a flashlight that harvests the um, heat of your hand and turns it into electricity or light. And the e-drink takes the excess heat of your hot drink while you're waiting it for it to cool down and converts it into electricity so you can charge your phone or iPod for a little bit. Okay, so how did you come up with those? Um, for the hollow flashlight, I got the idea when one of my friends in the Philippines, as I'm half Polish and half Filipino, told me that um, she was failing her grade in school because she couldn't afford electricity, so she didn't have any light to study with at night. Um, and then the e-drink I came up with just because I saw my friends' um, phones were always running out of battery and that their coffee was taking too long to cool down. Okay, um, to come up with something like that, I mean, obviously you wanted to have a practical application. Has, have those two inventions clicked? Have they, have they taken? Have they, like, are they going on market? Yeah. Um, so we are in talks right now to do at least a licensing deal for the flashlight. And then the e-drink um, is still very much in prototype form. Um, but once the flashlight deal gets settled and that starts getting into production, I'll get on to work for the e-drink. Okay, so many honors recently. What was it like being on there with Fallon? Um, for being on Fallon? Uh, it was awesome. That was last year. It was in my first year at UBC, so it was kind of cool to go there again because I had gone there initially when I was in grade 11 for his initial week of hosting. So it was really cool to come back and present my second invention, and it's just a really fun experience. Now, this isn't the first time you've been on a major list. There was another one as well. Tell us about that. Um, when I was 15, or, or like maybe 16, right after I won at the Google Science Fair, I was nominated for Times 30 Under 30. And to be honest, I didn't even know what Times 30 Under 30 was until someone told me, and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Um, so it was a big surprise for me, um, and also a wonderful thing to add to my resume. Uh, and wh where does this drive come from to, to invent things? Um, Sorry, my earpiece keeps falling out. Um, I lo have loved to invent things since I was a kid. I wasn't given many toys, so I'd have to take uh, garbage from around the house and piece together inventions. Of course, they never worked, but the idea of creating things with the resources around me was always there from the start. And then I did 10 science fairs from grade 6 to grade 12, so I was just making things constantly. Well, we look forward to your next invention, and congratulations on the uh, Forbes list. Thank you very much.